Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI. This is a quick video just for the general public to show you what uterine fibroids look like. So fibroids are a very common benign tumor of the uterus. We see them all the time. And they are within the muscular layer of the uterus. And they can grow pretty big. And a lot of times people have multiple of these lesions. And they expand the uterus. A lot of times it just fills the pelvis and pushes on the bowel loops and pushes on the bladder. And they can cause pain. Sometimes they can lose their blood supply and degenerate and cause painful symptoms. Rarely they can turn into cancer even. They could call it malignant degeneration. And this is just one of those views of the fibroids. And a patient has a very big uterus. And uh, people sometimes think they're pregnant because they have a big uterus. It mimics the size of a pregnancy. And this is one of those cases where it just looks so big. It's uh, just as big as if the patient had a pregnancy. Now this is a viewer looking from the side. We can see the lumbar spine here. And this is the sacrum and coccyx. This is the rectum down here, distal colon. And then the uterus is this whole huge thing here. And this dark band is a really big uterine fibroid. You see another fibroid here, another fibroid here. And sometimes they can poke off the edge of the uterus. Sometimes they're right in the middle. Um, and they, these are called intramuscular fibroids right here. They're within the uterine uh, body. And they're usually really dark like this. And on occasion, they can degenerate where they, where they lose their blood supply or can turn into cancer. And when they look like that, they will not be nice and dark and uniform. They will be heterogeneous and more bright. And I'll show you an example of that. So anyway, this is a classic example of a very large uterine a fibroid uterus with multiple dark areas, which are uterine fibroids, all scattered throughout. We can look at another view. This is a view we're looking from another direction. This is the very back. Here's the very front. And look at that round thing here. Huge uterine fibroid on the left. And again, these can cause pain. Sometimes it can cause dysfunctional uterine bleeding. And again, whenever they lose their blood supply, they can really become painful. And when they're really large like this, they'll go in and just do a hysterectomy, take them out. Sometimes they can go in and embolize them where they knock out the blood supply and they may slowly shrink over time. Just another example here of what we see. This is one of the fibroids way over here. It's a big one here and it just completely fills the whole pelvis in this patient. We can look at it straight on like this and see all the fibroids, multiple small ones and this one dominant one. So this is just one patient. I'll show you another patient, same thing. So this is the other patient. This is a typical fibroid, very big here in the right. Uh, aspect of the uterus. You can see the right hip joint here, left hip joint here. You can see the lumbar spine. You can see the ilium over here on the left. SI joint, this is the sacrum in the middle. This is the ilium, SI joint to get oriented. And so you can see this big dark fibroid like you've seen before in the last patient. Now this patient has something else. They have this fibroid. Now see how different this one looks? Instead of being nice and dark and uniform, it's heterogeneous and bright as this fluid signal around the outside. So this is not the typical fibroid, which is dark. This is a degenerating fibroid. Here's a side view. You can see the front of the pelvis here. This is the lumbar spine, circum, and coccyx down here. And see this typical fibroid, nice and dark and uniform. And then here's another fibroid typical in the front. And uh, this is the uterus here. You can see another fibroid down here. If we go off towards the left, you see this big fibroid here and see how it's different than all the others. So this is a degenerating fibroid. If they have pain, it's probably related to this one. And this is one where they may want to go in there and uh, take out the uterus and make sure it's not malignant degeneration. But a lot of times it's just a vascular compromise and it starts to um, degenerate like this. So uh, very, very common thing, uterine fibroids. And uh, thank you very much.